Today's best m- m- music. Magic 89.9. What's up, everybody? This is Today's Best Music, Magic 89.9. My name is Ashley, and I'm sitting down today with two people. I got to say, I don't know if I ever thought I'd see you two in a room together. They're working on a very special project together, and they're going to tell us all about it. We've got Ben Adams from A1. Hello. Thank you for being here. It's a pleasure. Thank you for inviting me. Yes, of course. And of course, we have our very own Asia's Phoenix, Miss Morissette. Thank you as well for being here today. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you. All right. So uh, without further ado, I do believe you guys have a new song together, a Christmas song, of course, because it's already Christmas in Manila. So please (laughs) do tell us a little bit about the song. Well, it's called This Is Christmas. And uh, it's a song I wrote uh, a while back um, and I wanted to release it for a long time. But... Uh, I kind of wanted to find the right person to, to duet with me on it because it was it was already magical and I thought there's so much more magic we can squeeze out of this. So then I started uh, trying to find the right person and the best person for it and I absolutely did that with the person with the best voice in the whole of Southeast Asia, Morissette. Yeah. <laughs> no pressure there, guys. So it's all good. <laughs> I mean, tell us how, how did it come together, though, because I do believe you were looking for a voice. Did you guys know each other? How did you come upon each other like to come and make this duet? I mean, okay, you want to answer? Well, just because I guess ben, ben Ben just shared it that he was posting, I guess, on social media trying to look for the perfect singer for this Christmas song, which I'm not sure if you shared. Um, originally wrote for a Dutch artist, and um, well, he wa- he liked it so much he kept it. <laughs> and um, Sony Music Philippines actually reached out to him and um, offered me, and I'm very very grateful that he he trusted me with the song and the project. Wow, oh my God, that's amazing. Like online, was that through online that you were looking for people? Yeah, well, I mean, to be honest, I just put out one tweet saying like, I really would like to to, to duet with, with a Southeast Asian singer on this uh, album. And, and uh, Roz from Sony uh, got in contact and said, I have the perfect suggestion. People had already suggested you, to be fair, online. They were like, you have to sing with, uh, with Asia's Phoenix. Morissette, and they sent me loads of links and stuff. So I checked out all of her uh, stuff online. And I just thought, my goodness, she's got such an incredible voice. I think she'd uh, do magic with this song. And she certainly did. Aww. So yeah, we, we FaceTimed, didn't we? Yes, we did. And we were like you know uh what do you want to sing which parts do you like the most blah blah blah, blah. we worked it all out and that's how it happened oh my god that's amazing i mean can you tell us a little bit about the process of recording together i mean i know you guys are obviously from two separate countries did you get to work together or was it like a remote kind of setup how did it happen well we we didn't record together ben had his vocals first and then sent me a demo and then i recorded it here and then when ben came for the a1 concert um yeah pretty pretty much the week before that we were already we already had a a mastering track master track and yeah it sounds amazing sounds the thing about doing a christmas song or christmas record is that i know you start early here like first of september is when christmas begins but for me christmas began this year in like june because (laughs) i was there yeah i was already working on it already producing the track and getting it ready and stuff so you know it would have been nice to have waited for us to have you know sung it together in the studio but if we'd have done that it wouldn't have been ready to release in time so we kind of had to do it remotely over the internet but it's amazing that we can do that this you know we can be on opposite sides of the world and still make an incredible track. Yeah, it's like the power of social media. You could do everything now. And and like Ben shared, we did FaceTime a lot, um, exchanged emails on just um, Brainstorm. And yeah, we have we have the track. <laughs> yeah, I mean, kind of serendipity, you know, because Manila, Manila loves Christmas so much. It's such a big thing here. Yes. So the fact that you guys were able to find each other, I mean, amazing. So since everyone here does love Christmas, do tell us a little bit more about the song, you know, maybe the lyrics, the inspiration behind it. What kind of message did you want to achieve with writing this song? Well, the very first lyrics go, this is my favorite time of the year. And it really is. Every December, I pray for snow. Um, Which I thought, you know, I I actually did did ask Morissette. I was like, look, I know it doesn't snow in the Philippines. Do I have to change the lyrics to make it make sense? She's like, no, because we really pray for snow every year. We really, we pray. Especially in our very, very tropical, hot country. Yeah. We're like crossing our fingers, like, please let it snow just this once. (laughs) Yeah, it's like a miracle would happen, but you know. uh, But like in, in the same, in the same light, Filipinos also like to travel and we we like to travel to cold places, especially during this um, Christmas season. 
Yeah. Well, that's why I have to. You have to come over to London and sing it with me there. Then it's amazing, yeah. Because not only you know, it's not just released obviously in the Philippines. It's released all over the world. So you know, I've been getting hundreds of messages from people back in the UK and Scandinavia and everywhere really, just videoing themselves, uh, you know, singing it and all, and all their kids dancing along to it and stuff like that. So it's really nice to see that the track is sort of pushing itself throughout yeah. the rest of the world as well. I mean, so I know bringing that song together, I guess you guys would have had to collaborate with two different sounds, mm -hmm. perhaps, you know, appeal to different fan bases. So maybe let your fans know for us, like, what can they expect from this that's different from your usual stuff now that you've been able to collaborate with somebody else? You guys can each go. Yeah, well, especially for me, this is very different because I do um, I do more ballads in my in my official tracks. But this one is was very it was very young, very happy. A lot of my songs are like so sad. I know. And I, like, I checked them out. Yeah. I, I cried every time I listened to them. <laughs> you cried. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But for this one, it just really reflects Christmas and I, I love it. It's not all the time you get to sing an amazing Christmas track. And of course, with Ben Adams. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, I, I have done all sorts of stuff uh, throughout my career. I've been going 20, 20 years. We were saying yesterday, you know, when, when we were starting out, Morissette was three, <laughs> three years old. I mean, that's how old I am. Um, <laughs> but no, it's... You don't look it at all. Oh, I know, there's lots of plastic surgery. Uh, <laughs> um, no, it's not. But um, before people start writing that, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, you never know what papers say. Um, but, um, but yeah, no, I mean, I've done all sorts of stuff throughout my career. And, you know, even with A1, we did a lot of ballads like, you know, Like a Rose and all that kind of stuff. But we did a lot of up-tempo stuff like Take On Me. So I've really done a broad spectrum of things. And for me, you know, a lot of my favorite Christmas tracks, they are, you know, the slow ballady ones. But mm -hmm. Christmas is like a time to celebrate and have fun and, and just, you know, just spread joy. Um, and that's why I think this song is so perfect. A bit like... Um, or, um, what's the Mariah uh, Carey one? All they want for Christmas. All they want for Christmas. Yeah. The same kind of feel. As soon as uh, This Is Christmas comes on, I just get uplifted and I'm like, oh my goodness, I want to dance. <laughs> yeah. um, and that's the same as what I do with All I Want For Christmas with uh, Mariah Carey. So, um, you know, I think there's a place for every kind of Christmas song, but this kind of thing really feels the best. Yes, yes. And yeah, it just reflects so much about Christmas being happy, good vibes. So. Yeah. And you know, Filipinos, especially during Christmas time, we love karaoke yeah. and it's such a good sing-along song. <laughs> karaoke song. My goodness, I can't wait to turn up at a karaoke place and just yeah. go... Put on This Is Christmas. Yeah. Let's do it. Yes. Just jam with everybody. It's, it's I'm, I'm sure this season it's going to be blasting all throughout. The neighbors at 5 a.m., they're going to be complaining yeah. about this song. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, neighbors will never complain about this song. It's just going to be joy throughout every household. Yeah. All right, since uh, you guys seem to both love Christmas, as you said, it's your favorite time of the year, I thought we'd play a little game. So this is a game that we like to play at our station sometimes. It's called Sugar or Spice. And we have, of course, themed it to Christmas. So kind of a Christmas off. So I want to see which one of you maybe is the bigger Christmas fan. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, okay. And I guess sugar means good, spice is bad, is it? So it's a little yay or nay segment. So basically, I'm going to blurt something out. We're going to go through maybe 10 different things. Okay. If you like it, all you have to do is say sugar. Okay. And if you don't like it, it, all you have to do is say spice. So I got to say, Ben, you've got some tough competition because we Filipinos, we are great. Yeah, we're very competitive, very crazy over Christmas. So are you guys ready? Yes. All right. Uh, so one at a time. Number one, gingerbread cookies. Ooh, sugar. Spice. Oh, you don't like gingerbread cookies? I don't like ginger. That is not, Actually, it's not my favorite. I, I don't like ginger also. Contrary to um, popular belief, they think that singers need ginger for their voice. But like, no, 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 no I try to stay away from it. Actually. Have you heard her voice? <laughs> you heard it here first. You do not need ginger to sing amazingly. If you want to sound like Morissette, ginger is not the way, you guys. <laughs> Although, that's why, I said, I, that's why I said sugar because I like cookies. Yeah, but like, ginger cookies, that means, no, yeah, sorry. Listen, are you just trying to win this competition? <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. Well, you can't lie to win. <laughs> it's already heated in here, you guys. Let's move on to the second one. All right, all right. Number two, wrapping gifts. Ooh, sugar. Oh, spice. I'm, I'm really bad at wrapping. Like, if you, you really like Christmas? I'm, I really do. But, but, but if you get a present from me, yes. you'll know it's from me even without reading it because the wrapping is so bad. <laughs> It's a you bit can like just get a paper bag for that. Yeah, you can, but then there's no effort. So I do like putting it in paper, but it just looks really bad. <laughs> like like sellotape everywhere, <laughs> no, not neat edges, you know that kind of stuff. Well, it's art. It is, yeah. It's art. Exactly, you know, it's unique. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So far, it's two and zero oh right now. But let's see if we can keep it going. Number three, sending thank you cards. Oh, um, spice. <laughs> 
Oh, God, that spice as well. <laughs> That's three spices in a row. <laughs> Yeah. Not doing so good here. Well, I, say, I say spice because I'm not one for really writing. I like typing though. I like responding to messages. I have Merry Christmas. I like um, key, uh, the keyboard thing, just the computer, just typing out, but not really writing in specific. Does yeah. anyone write anymore? Like, <laughs> I mean, I think some people do. I don't know. The real Christmas obsessed. Yes, and they like the they like it old fashioned. Well, to be honest, every time I've written stuff. Um, I, no one can read my writing anymore yeah. anyway because you just don't write stuff. So they're like, oh, you know, write out this card or, yeah. or even sign stuff. And I'm like, I don't know how to use a pen anymore. <laughs> can't wrap gifts, can't write cards. Just not a hands man. <laughs> all right, all right. Number five, number five, which I'm sure you can get, both get a point from this one. Christmas carols. Oh, sugar. Oh, I'll go for sugar. Yeah, I got one. Yay, Yay, finally. All right. That's one point for you and I think two for you. All right. So let's keep it going. Let's see if you can catch up. Number five, ugly Christmas sweaters. Oh, uh, spice. That's sugar for me. It doesn't matter. It's Christmas. It doesn't matter how the uglier the sweater, the more festive is what I think. Wait, but what is ugly? Ugly, I think, would be like those kind of big, you know, uh, they have like childish kind of patterns on them, you know, like they're kind of silly. Yeah, yeah I, th I, don't, I don't think they're ugly. I think they're cute. They're yeah, but like in our country, you don't really wear sweaters. Ah, yeah. she's right. She made a point. She made a point <laughs> with our air cuts because I know you've been feeling those lately. You have a scarf, so. Exactly. <laughs> Inside. <laughs> all right, all right. Number six, cold weather. Oh, mm. I don't can it can it be a mix of sugar and spice just because I'm not really one for for cold the cold weather I, I don't like aircon but I do like my favorite kind of weather is like the LA weather where it's cold but there's a sun that's my favorite. Yeah. I mean, I think it doesn't get super cold in Manila, just like kind of breezy in the in the December. Yes. Well, I mean, I'm I'm the opposite. So this is a, sh a massive sugar for me because <laughs> I'm just about to buy a, a cabin up in the mountains in in Norway, and it's just snow everywhere for six months of the of the year. It goes down to I think minus minus thirty sometimes in uh, in the minus really yeah I, it's no so, it's, so, it's so like and it honestly like Christmas for me is when it's just freezing cold and you you walk outside and you can if you spat it would turn into snow. <laughs> It's that cold. That's not actually true. You can Google it online. Yeah, it's and, and you sort of breathe in, and your nose sort of sticks together like that. It's that cold. It's incredible. Us tropical folk were terrified of that. And for me personally, I lose my voice during like during this time of the year because really? of the cold. So like, ugh. that's why I'm wearing a scarf. I once see. More, once more. I see. <laughs> All right, let's keep it going. Number seven: Christmas movies. Well, she doesn't look happy about that. <laughs> Spice? What? I don't know. What? I mean, they're nice, but they're not really my go-to movies. Are you kidding me? Home Alone? Oh, I love Home Alone, well, though. But it's not about? really a Christmas movie. It's about it? a kid who's, like, home at, alone. At Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a Christmas movie. Really? Uh, Elf? Yes, I've seen well, Elf. Well, there you go. You don't like Elf? It's not my go-to movie. Oh, it's the best movie that's ever <laughs> made. Well, yeah, those are very good movies, but it's not my go-to movie, so... What's your go-to movie? I don't... Uh, Rom-com. <laughs> Rom-com, okay. Like How about you, man? Nicholas Sparks and stuff. Ooh, okay. How about you, man? Sugar Spice for Christmas movies. It's got to be sugar. I, I would watch them the whole year round if I could, but it, it kind of, like, destroys Christmas if you if you watch them too early for mm. me. So um, I love all of them. You know, Father Christmas, mm. uh, The Snowman. Do you have that cartoon over here? The snowman? We, we, no, I'm here. not familiar. What? Oh, I, I, I got to come over here and base myself <laughs> in the Philippines and educate people on Christmas. Come You're going to educate the people here on Christmas, you know. All right, let's move on. Number eight, Secret Santa. Uh, spice. I mean, yeah, Spice. I'm not, I mean, because I'm not really up for like the whole Santa thing. I sing about it a lot. Right. <laughs> but I like for me, it's not really what Christmas is about. So, yeah. Uh, that is what Christmas is about for me. Uh, lots of presents, Santa coming down your chimney, <laughs> dropping them off around him with his reindeer. Yeah, okay. um, now, I mean, you know, I mean, obviously, Santa exists, yeah. doesn't he? San Santa exists. He's a real. Does he? Yeah. I of course, of course, no. of course. But that, but that's the point. <laughs> he's a, he's a mystical, mysterious oh, figure okay. who only comes while you're asleep, which is a bit creepy. But, but we love him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Last one, last one. Number 10, putting up the Christmas tree. Uh, sugar. 
Oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> my tree at home is as big as the ones you find in shopping malls. So it's like, what is it, 20 foot high? Mm. So it's a really quite tricky to to put up. But I do enjoy it. But like ha- after I've done about half the tree, I, I do sort of sit down and go, oh my goodness, this is taking a long time. This is a big tree. You just get um, a tree like this. Yeah, I know. But then it doesn't feel quite as Christmassy. So it's a long process, which mm. is great, but it, it takes a while. So this is a sugar, sugary, spicy sugar. Uh, yes. Lots of mixed answers in this one. But I think the final tally is, for you, four points yes. on that. But for you, Morissette, five points. So like a true Filipina, she won this Christmas off the sugar <laughs> spice. Thank you guys for playing with me. So before we head on out of here, just give us a quick word to all of your fans, all of our listeners who, of course, are very excited about your song and to hear it and to sing it all Christmas long. Yes, guys, um, This is Christmas is officially out on all digital media music platforms. I hope you can uh, check it out on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, YouTube, everywhere. And we're going to be working on a music video very, very soon. So I hope you all enjoy it. Merry Christmas. Yeah. I mean, I was, I, and also, we've yeah. uh, online, we've got all of the, uh, we did Showtime, yes. ASAP. We've got all of these programs that we've been doing over the past four days and they are getting some crazy amounts of views and streams of like that. So go and check them out. The live performance. I love the love audiences it. over here are amazing. Like the energy from the from the, the TV show audiences is just amazing. It's great. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for sitting down with me again. This is Ben Adams from A1 and our very own Morissette. And this is my name is Ashley. This has been today's best music. We're Magic 89.9.